Hi, it's Steve Bradshaw back again for some more configuring Guy BMACS. Today we're going to uh, set up a printer emulation. So I want you to imagine that you have a series of prints that are on your IBM I and you'd like to print them using ACS to a local printer definition that's on the PC running the ACS session. So this is useful, uh, particularly when you've got people working from home and they're using a VPN in, so they can pull the spool files from their IBM I, push them through their PC and ACS and print them on a local printer. Or for a local printer, maybe this office connected that might be connected via USB, uh, something that can't be spoken to directly by your IBM I. So you're gonna suck the print down from your IBM I and then spit it back out again. So in order to do that, it's pretty darn simple. Uh, let's get into our ATS session. So if I open up ACS, as we see there, and go to a uh, uh, session manager, uh, you see the existing 5250 sessions are set up for this demonstration. Well, I'm going to click on the button over here for a new printer session. I can type the name of the server or the IP address of the server, uh, the IBM I server that I'm interested in. So you can use a resolvable name or an IP address. So I'll use an IP address. Then the name of the IBM I printer. So printer one, printer two, or in this case, we will call this one PRT SB. Okay. So once that's set, a couple of options you're going to use. Uh, first of all, on the printer setup, tell it which printer you want to use. This will give you a list of all of the printers that are configured on your PC. So in this case, I want to use this one with the rather imaginative ET name over there that, that gets me onto a, a Lexmark printer. It's got A4 paper, usual parameters apply for how you want to deal with that, fine. Then in the page setup, tick this button here, use the Java print service. Other options are available, but 90% of the time I find this really works well. You can tool about with um, page orientation, whether you want it to auto rotate, whether you want to use best fit or not, what fonts, but just start with the basic settings and see how you get on. So having done that, it's going to ask me to log in to the IBM I, so log in with my normal IBM I user. And you can see now I have an extra session. That's tabbed up here with my normal sessions. Okay, connected to the system, it's connected. Nothing going on at the moment. And there's the destination printer. So if I go into there and I move that spool from there to PRTSB, uh, first time you connect to it, just like all other printers, you'll get a message wait. So it's saying load forms, just like normal prints. You can put auto reply list entries in to deal with that. If I would again, and what that's done now is brought down the print. It's being processed by my print job. It's printing page one at the moment and then pushing it out through the network back to that network printer. So somewhere now there's a print with that on. Uh, just to prove a point, I will go back in there and reconfigure it. And instead of sending it to a printer that you can't see, I will repipe it uh, out to a PDF printer. So let's just select a different printer. This time I'm gonna chuck it out to print PDF. This is not something I'm advocating for everyday use. There are better ways of getting a PDF off your IBM I, but just to show you that the spool files are there. So now that job is reconnected. It's going to take it off the IBM I, convert it, and put it out to the PDF renderer. So let's go back in, send that print again. And uh, that job is now saved. So let's release it uh, again. Okay, it's now sucked it down to the PC. It's asking me for the name of the PDF. Uh, so I'll call that test one. If I check my desktop, I imaginatively put test one. There will be a PDF. It's automatically rotated it into landscape. And there you have it, the ability to print. And the other thing you might want to do on top of that is perhaps put an icon on the desktop. So once you've actually got the session working the way you want, do file, save as, this one was called uh, PRTSB. Okay, that will then show up in your session manager. And if you wanted to, you could copy a shortcut to the desktop so that you can then have to launch it through there. So it's come out of there. There's my icon. If I want to launch it now, it'll be there. Ask me to log in. And there it is going. You need to have this emulation session running whenever you want to print. 
you can detach it and then minimize it and get it to automatically start. All of those good things that you would normally do with a session. So printing really is easy. That request came from feedback from uh, the YouTube channel. Really appreciate the feedback. If you've got anything else you would like me to do in the future, please let me know. Until then, TTFN.